Hi, welcome to another video. Recently, OpenAI launched O1 Pro, which costs $200 to use. That's just too much, to be honest. But one model that didn't get as much attention because of it is actually one of the cheapest models now available on the market, and it's by Amazon. Amazon has launched its new models in a new lineup called Nova. These Nova models actually include three LLMs, one image generator model, and one video generator model. I'll be talking about the LLMs. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Paying for models from different providers costs a lot of money these days. But you can save a lot of money on your membership costs by using Ninja Chat. It gives you access to latest models from Anthropic, OpenAI, Gemini, and even image or video generation models like Flux and Kling, all in one place, for a price that just starts from $11. They have a bunch of tools to use these models in intricate ways, like the AI Playground feature, which allows you to compare multiple models in one place by sending one prompt to multiple models from multiple providers, which is really great. They also have a bunch of other tools as well, like writing tools, a mind map generator, and even a new artifacts feature. So, you can check them out through the link in the description, and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. So, there are three models. Micro, Light, and Pro. The Micro model is the smallest in the lineup, and it has a context length of 128k tokens. It is optimized for speed and cost. I'll come to the costs in a bit, because they are a major point of this model. Next is the Light model. This Light model is a multimodal model. They say it's a very low-cost multimodal model that is lightning fast at processing image, video, and text inputs to generate text output. This model lies above micro, but below pro. The pro model is the best model of the lot. They say it is a highly capable multimodal model with the best combination of accuracy, speed, and cost for a wide range of tasks. It can process up to 300k input tokens. It supports function calling and everything as well. Now, the Pro model is similar to Claude 3.5 Sonnet in benchmarks and surpasses GPT-4.0 in most benchmarks, which is quite cool, because these are the cheapest models you can possibly use yet. So, let's talk a bit about the pricing of these models. The Micro model, which is the smallest, is also the cheapest one, and only costs 4 cents per 1 million input tokens and 14 cents per 1 million output tokens. This pricing undercuts the previously lowest priced Gemini 1.5 flash 8B model, which is great to be honest. There's also the light model, which costs only 6 cents for input and 24 cents for output per million tokens. Then, the best model which is a little comparable to Sonnet and is on par with GPT-4.0, only costs 80 cents for 1 million input tokens and $3.20 for 1 million output tokens. Now, Amazon compares the micro model with Gemini Flash 8B in benchmarks. Both models are the same price, although the micro model undercuts Gemini slightly and performs better in many benchmarks. Then, they compare the light model with Claude 3.5 Haiku. The light model comes quite close in benchmarks, and in pricing terms, it is about 16 times cheaper than Claude 3.5 Haiku, which is pretty insane to be honest. The Nova Pro model is comparable to GPT-4.0, comes quite close to Sonnet, and is 4.5 times cheaper than Sonnet which is pretty great to see. Now, these models are not open source, and you can either use them from Amazon's Bedrock platform 
or through Open Router with some limited free credits. Or you can also try it out through LMSIS for fully free, and it has all the three models as well. So, that's also super cool. So, let's get started and test it out. These are the 13 questions that I'm going to test it against. The first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Lia. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer to this could be Canberra or any capital of a country whose name ends with Lia. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer from all three of them, and light and micro are not correct, while the pro model is correct. So, let's mark it. Now, the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three, because it rhymes with tree. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer from all of them, and all of them pass this question. So, let's mark it as a pass. The next question is, there are five people in a house, A, B, C, D, and E. A is watching TV with B, D is sleeping, B is eating a sandwich, and E is playing table tennis. Suddenly, a call comes on the telephone. B went out of the room to pick up the call. What is C doing? The answer should be that it cannot tell because it isn't mentioned, or I'll even accept if it says that C is playing table tennis with E. Let's send it and see. Okay, so here's the answer from each, and all of them are again correct. So let's mark them a pass. Now the next question is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically? The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer from them, and none of them answer correctly in this question, which is expected, because even Claude doesn't solve this. Let's mark it a fail. The next question is, Courtney said that there were 48 people but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. Let's send it and see. Okay, here are the answers. The Light and Pro answered this correctly, while the Micro model failed this question. So, let's mark it accordingly. Now the next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Okay, here are the answers from them, and all of them are correct. So, let's mark it accordingly. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Okay, here are the answers, and all of them are again correct. So, let's mark it as well. The next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Here are the answers, and none of them are correct here, which is a little sad to see. Let's mark it. Now, the next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see. Okay, here are the answers, and the light one doesn't work, and neither micro nor pro works either. So, let's just mark all of them as a fail. Now, the next question is, Create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it and check. Okay, here are the answers. Let's run the light one first. And this works well. Now, if we run the micro one, then you can see that this also works fine. Now, if we run the pro one, then this one also works fine. So, 
let's mark it as a pass. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. So, here are the answers. The generation from light doesn't look good, and neither does the generation from micro. But the generation from pro is okay-ish, and it does have a silhouette. So, this is a pass. The next one is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. Make sure that the landing page looks sleek and modern. You can use HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and see. So, these are the generations. All of them look good and are usable. So, this is a pass for all of them. The next question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Here's the code. Let's run the light one, and this works pretty well. If we run the micro generation, then this works pretty well. And the generation from Pro is also working. So, all of them are a pass. Now, this is the final chart. So, I think that the value of these models is pretty insane. It's super cheap, and the value of the intelligence is pretty insane. Plus, the two models are also multimodal, which is great for the price. I think that the pricing is what makes these models so good. The Pro model is really very good, and the smallest light model is also great for some simple, agentic tasks, or big data summarization and stuff like that. So, that's super cool. I think that these models deserve more hype than the O1 Pro model that costs $200. I think, at last, the only thing that makes people not use AI is the pricing. And it's great to see companies like Google and Amazon actually working on the pricing rather than making things more expensive like OpenAI. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.